much. Off room. <gasps> what are you doing in there? Nothing. Are you got someone in there with you? Keanu! Keanu! What? What are you up to? You're right. Is the temperature in here okay? Yeah. Now don't be nervous. We've seen it all before. Okay then, folks. So we're going to go for the one-minute poses as usual, and then we'll move on to the longer ones once we've warmed up. I know if you would like to assume a position, uh, maybe palm on him. Well, thanks everyone. If you want to leave your boards on the desk and tidy your stuff away, that would be great. Hi. All right. Didn't know you was an artist. <laughs> Didn't know you were a model. Thank you, Keanu. You've done really well. Great, thanks. See you time next week? Yeah, definitely. Oh, and, um... Drawing hair, it's a good exercise, so you don't have to be quite so smooth. Is it true? Big eyebrows are in fashion. <laughs> What? You got something to tell me? No. Then why you been waxing your chest? You got a little bird giving you a tweet, have you? No. You sure? Stay out of my business. Yeah, well, then you stay out of my waxing kit. No, it used to be a sign of being a man. Now you're all running around like newborn babies. <sighs> what? Have you ever known me to have chest hair? I did think that. Must have come on quick. No, I mean, one or two baby hairs, but nothing bushy. So where did... Oh, you <laughs> dirty little <laughs> you kid! Me you me piece of dog. Oh. Ah! Oh. Sorry, fellas, I, I can't get it into gear. You'll have to give us a minute, yeah? Just turn down Turpin Way. It's dead end. No, nah, you can get through and all this bit.
gonna need them. It must have changed since. All right, boys. Don't give them a moment to think. What is this place you have taken me? Well, that used to be a food hall. Oh, oh, sure. Nothing. Go oh, 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 Ungrateful, horrible sport, little sod! Now you think I was tough before, you ain't seen nothing yet. You go home right now, and you do not so much as move out of that bedroom till I tell you. Can you manage that without causing any more crap? wanted was to make a better job of it than mine did and, and yet I'm scared I'm scared of everything I'm, I'm overprotective I made Danny a horrible nasty obnoxious little kid I know. I mean what was Phil thinking leaving them here on his own I don't get anything about either of them I think you make kids who they are Sometimes I look at my family, I don't really feel like I fit in. You know, just get, take each other for granted. Yeah. Yeah. Feels old school. You don't get things changed, move on. You shouldn't be so hard on yourself. No. No. Ignore me. <laughs> Stupid middle-aged woman. I think they're both very lucky to have you. For a pint. 
Yeah, I didn't really get the chance. Well, come with me then, then uh, I'll sort you out. That's just all right, Phil. I'll best get home. No, 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 no. No, I insist, loyal employee like you. You deserve a drink after our day's craft. Hey. Look who I found. Now, I've got a lot of questions. So let's start with this, shall we? What are you doing dropping Dennis's jacket off to be cleaned? Phil. Because a couple of weeks ago, he was fine. Now, now, now he can't even get on the tube. So who knows why, eh? There's something going on here, and no one is going anywhere until I find out what it is. Just settle down. Oh, that's it, yeah, yeah, yeah. Calm down, let's be gentle, you know? You're the reason he ain't got any bottle, do you know that? Shut up. Well, you're too soft on him, you always have been. He's my son, in case you've forgotten. And I will be as soft on him as I like. Better that than ending up a thug. Oh, well, I mean, you mean. I thought you quite like that. Well, I'd rather him be a bit soft than have to drag him out of a stolen car. Who knows what those boys would have done to him if Keanu hadn't been there? Well, now we're getting somewhere, cos nobody told me any of this. What'd be the point? Oh, no, no, no point. Not when you've got the hero here saving the day. They were good at battery. Yeah, well, maybe that's what he needed. Don't be disgusting. Anyway, I told you, stay out of it. It's none of your business. I was just trying to help. Oh, well, you want to be me, dear? You want to parent my son? You want to pay my bills, Don't be ridiculous. Dear? Stay out of here. That he was trying to keep Denny safe. Because God knows you can't. Now, you... Don't bother coming back to work anymore. What? And you? Save it. I knew you wouldn't have the art to do what was right by him when it come to it. Yeah, all right. Our old man was a wrong one. Do you know that, yeah? Did she tell you that? Boy, shut him. Call him off, will you? I said, shut it. <laughs> you? You are telling me what to do. In my own house, you are telling me what to do. Yeah, I am. Say it again. Go on. Say it again. Shut him. Again. Shut him! Phil! Stop it! Get up and go now! Sharon. Go on. That's enough. If I see him in this house again, he's dead. Not bad. Well, it's a benefit of Phil being away. I can fill the fridge with a peanut gris shirt. Oh, that's the benefit, eh? Shh. Are you sure about this? Yeah, you really like me, don't you? I thought I heard something. Louise? No. No, it's nothing. Right, close your eyes. Why? Just do it, OK? Close them. <laughs> should, should go up to your room? He needs a bed. <laughs> you can open your eyes now. Wow. Mm -hmm. I hope you're going to be gentle with me. Well, I never make promises I can't keep. Yeah, I might keep the change. Yeah. Yeah. You're going to enjoy this? Yeah, yeah, something like that. So, uh, I'm back a bit early, so uh, I'm going to give the family a nice surprise. You know, I'm not going to let anything or anyone separate us. Sharon! No, anyone at home? It's Phil. Phil. Louise, can you hear me? Louise! Louise? 
Luis? 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 Hey, you're right, you hurt. <laughs> You two have a nice trip. <laughs> no, wait! Wait! No! 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 Don't Don't go. I told you Phil I'd be here like 10 minutes ago. But you are here. And I thought you'd learn by now. It's not always a good idea keeping promises to my dad. Uh, Tuesdays, a school day. Last time I checked. I'm just getting dressed! My T-shirt. Sorry, I'm late. I had a bit of a rough night's sleep. It's a bit early for work, isn't it? Well, not everybody likes to spend all day in bed, do they? <laughs> now I guess I said Lou. What can't you talk about in front of me? Lou, please. Keanu said he'd take me to school. Please, Dad. All right, after you dropped her off then, yeah? Looking for Louise Mitchell. She's still here. What the hell happened to you, eh? I um, I tripped up at the uh, garages and I, uh, I banged my head. When well, you couldn't pick up the phone, Louise has been worried sick. My, my battery died. I'm sorry. Yes, I've warned you before about messing my daughter around. Right? I feel I didn't want to miss this. Yeah. Well, I'm not messing her about. I swear. Listen, it. Louise might give second chances, but I don't. She uh, had the scan. It's down there, room three. Come in. I'm so sorry. I... Lou, come on. Don't be like that. You've got to believe me. I wanted to be here, please. Louise. We'll talk about it later. You're just in time. Do you mind lifting up your top? Can't see anything. Yeah, look, see that? That's his head. Is it? That's it. Would you like to hear baby's heartbeat? Yeah. I just need to get some measurements and then I can print you a photo. Baby Taylor. We going? I want to show Mom the scan. Why, Sarah? Oh! Look at the name. Oh. I've never been so happy, Mum. Did you bring it? <sighs> I didn't do this properly last time. This was my mum's mum's... One of them. She had a few husbands. Put me off marriage for good. But that's just me. <laughs> 
Louise Mitchell, will you do me the honor of marrying me? Yes. Need a changing. I am so, so sorry. I know. You and me and Peggy. That's all that matters. I love you, Lou. You're the only one I want. Well, if that was true, you'd have told me. I wanted to. Even once we had Peggy. It's not that simple, though, is it? Your mum is right. You... If your dad finds out, he will kill me. <laughs> Whatever I've done, I'm Peggy's dad. We can run away. Where he can't find us. Start again. I want to be your husband. When you told me you was keeping our baby, I promised I would always be there for you, and I will. For as long as I can. Nothing else matters to me, only you and Peggy. I took a bullet for you, and I would do that again. Let's do it. Let's go. What are you doing here anyway? So, you take care of Keanu while the Mitchells put their feet up at home? Go to the Vic's, more like the plan. The way everyone can see that their hands are squeaky clean. So why not I go to the police? That way their hands won't be squeaky clean then. And say what? There's nothing to tie them into any of this. There's you. Where's the proof of that? It's just going to be my word against theirs. Look, I am in enough trouble as it is. Shop the Mitchells, I might as well dig my own grave right now. So I'll tell you what, why don't I? Why don't I go get Louise? You're dead to her! Why can't you get that through your stupid head? There's got to be a way out of this. There was. Who is it? It's Ben. What's he saying? Is it done? It will never work. Why not? Linda! A fit young fella like you. So long as you don't actually take a bullet to the head, you'll survive. Can you actually hear yourself? If you take one in the shoulder, it's still going to be a hell of a lot of blood. So we hurt him, but, but not too much. Well, it wouldn't be the first time. He survived that all right. Keanu, this is crazy. Fine. Toss your way out. One shot, and then we get you to a hospital. No name. Hopefully, as far as they're concerned, you're just another casualty to get patched up and packed off out again. There, I reckon. One shot in there. No, a bullet hole in the shoulder is not going to look the same as one in his head. The amount of blood there'll be, there'll be no way of telling exactly where he was shot. And, and we could smear some of it over your head as well. Well, there's some booze in the, in the back of the van that'll help with the pain. It's still not going to fall, Phil and Ben. It will if they hear him begging you not to do it, and then they hear the shot. Linda. We ain't got time to stand around talking about this. Well, it ain't going to work. Just do it. No. Do it! No! <laughs> what? Nothing. You said hit him in the shoulder. I did. No. Oh. Give me that cloth. What? Martin! 
Oh, you've got to get up. Keanu, get up and start, start begging. All right, do you hear me? Beg for your life! Help me, Martin. Come on. Get him up, get him up, sit him up there. That's it. That's it. All right, listen. Listen. When the gun goes off, right, you fall back on the floor. All right, turn your phone on. Wait, wait. Ready? Please. I'm begging you. For the sake of my baby. I am sure of it. I'm sorry, Mum. I'm sorry about everything. Oh, it doesn't matter now. Because you're here. Yeah. You're alive. My boy. What's he told you? That he was meant to kill you. The Mitchells gave him no choice. It would have been a lot safer if he had killed me, Mum. I owe it my life. Oh, but what kind of life? Jumping on a plane to God knows where, no friends, no family. But I'm alive. That ain't fair, none of this. That ain't fair that one man can wreck all of our lives. It's not just Phil. Ben. Louise. She set me up, Mum. No. That little bitch of a perfect no, fashion. No, you don't do nothing like that. You hear me? I promise you this, one day, they will all get what's coming to them. But until then, I need to disappear. What if you didn't? Mom. No, just hear me out. You know, what if we could find a way to protect you? No, Mum, we couldn't. If we're all going to stay safe, I need to disappear. You know, I'm not saying things won't change in the future. But for now, this is just the way it has to be. You've always been there for me. Through thick and thin. The sacrifices you made. All them dead end jobs. Laughing and joking when there weren't much to laugh about. <laughs> You're the best mum. I mean that. It ain't hard being an half decent mum when I've got a son like you. What? I'm never going to hold my kids. I'm never even going to meet one of them. I am just like my dad. No, you are nothing like your dad. Do you hear me? You are brave and kind and loyal and courageous. And your kids will know that, right? I will make sure, whatever happens, that they know that, all right? I'm gonna miss my flight, Mum. I'm gonna miss you, Mum. You just remember, wherever you are, whatever you're doing, you are always loved, all right? Proper, deep down to the bone loved. Thank you. I know this is going to be hard for you. It's going to break my heart. But that's parenting for you. Better we have our hearts busted open than they do, ain't it? Your boy's safe. You can never tell the other kids. I can never tell anyone. <laughs> you can't even look at me, can you? Hey? You know, I used to tell me. 
then. What my old man told me when I was a kid, that kindness was a weakness. Old man weren't right about much, but he was right about that. Weren't he? Hey? You know, I love Ben. I do, I love him. But I don't understand him. Not really, but with you. It was different because with you, I used to look at you and see myself. Because all my old man ever gave me was a black eye and a bloody nose. But you... What did I do for you, Keanu? I gave you the keys, didn't I? I treated you, I treated you like you, you was one of me own, better than one of me own. And what did you do? What did you do, Keanu, hey? Well, look at me. The least you could do is look me in the eye after stabbing me in the back. Look at me! I'm sorry. I only know my dad from bad pictures and horrible stories, and now that's all my kids are going to know me by. And I've got no one to blame but myself. I never meant to hurt you, Phil. You were the closest thing I ever had to a dad, and I, and I let you down, and I'm, I'm so sorry. you the keys. I had Sharon. I had a granddaughter. I, I thought I thought I had a baby on the way. And now what have I got, eh? What have I got? I got nothing! <laughs> Put the gun down there. 